Hey guys, Ross here from Consolidata, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys a really cool new feature that we just added. You notice over here, it says AI bots, and we have configuration and then agents. Now, configuration is what you guys have been used to seeing, where you can basically take a chatbot and build it inside of your OpenAI account, and then you can connect it to go high level. But what if you wanted to use a bot built with consolidated created bot? And what that means is, what if you didn't want to have to go into OpenAI? What if you're not good at prompting and you need our help? Well, that's what this is going to allow you to do. So what you do is you go over here under agents and you just click on this create bot agent. Now I have one that's already made and typed out, so I'm going to just show you guys how this works. But basically you fill in the information, be as detailed as you want for the about us section here. Uh, if you're a local business, you can add a time zone because it's going to be helpful when you're um, doing your appointment setting. Uh, you can choose your language model. Um, you, you can put uh, what your actual agent. I know it's a little confusing. They put agent introduction. Really, it should be like the agent's role. So we should probably change that. Your main objective. Put your personality. And then what you want the greeting to be. So like, hey, this is Ross. How can I assist you? Or whatever. You put that there. This is all self-explanatory. But what I want to talk about is this little thing here. And what this is going to do is create a conversational flow. So that way, after it's helpful, it starts flowing through these questions. So that way, um, you could actually create objectives in here. Now, what you're going to do is you can add questions like this. And then over here, you're going to put the custom field that it's going to update. Now, I'm going to show you how to know exactly what to type here because soon we'll have it where it's a drop down and you don't even have to worry about knowing this. But in the moment, what you do is you go to your custom fields and under contacts, you see how it's like contact dot company underscore name. Uh, that's what you would put is company underscore name. So for instance, let's just say that it says here pain point. Then what you would put is dot pain underscore point. So for instance, if I said uh, what has been find out their biggest challenge. And then you could put pain underscore point. And you want it to look exactly like this, dot pain underscore point. You put that there, bada bing, bada boom. Now you can just update this. Now, what happens is when you create this, it's actually going to go build an assistant for you inside of OpenAI. So if I go over here into my playground and I click on assistance, you can see this is the one that it just built for me. And you can see that it puts an entire prompt inside of here. So it built the entire prompt for you. And then you can go and you can test that out. But you don't need to do anything in here. Um, I will say this. We have a scraper, a website scraper, and a document upload tool coming. It's not there just yet. And the reason why I bring that up is because if you have documents you wanted to read from, you might still need to go over there into OpenAI and add those documents there for you. Um, set that up. So once you have this set up, now you go over to configuration. And uh, I did this one earlier, but I, so I'm going to turn it off. But you'll notice, uh, and actually, let's just go ahead and do it here. If I click on this, now I choose my location and all that just like before. But now instead of having to go deal with open AI and typing assistant numbers. Now I can just choose from my available bots. I hit save and boom, now it is all set. So this totally takes the prompting out of building a bot. So this is officially our promptless AI bot builder. Uh, it's it's um, pretty dang good right now, but it's gonna get better and better over time. Thanks guys.